Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I've got three awesome and delicious recipes to share with y'all. They're gonna be so easy, and all three of these recipes have one common ingredient. So we're making all of them with crescent roll dough. This should be called ham and cheese magic. This is a special performance. She has no idea what I'm about to do. I have no clue. If you like enchiladas. All right, so we're gonna actually start with lunch because it is lunchtime and Monkey and I are so hungry. After we make lunch, we'll make our little, it could be breakfast or dessert. We're gonna call it dessert today. And then tonight we'll make our dinner, which is gonna be so good. But for lunch, I am the most excited because y'all know how much I love my little Hawaiian ham and cheese sandwiches. Y'all know I make them like all the time and they are the best. Well, whenever I was thinking of like recipes for this video, I was going obviously to buy my crescent rolls and I saw that they have the sweet Hawaiian ones and I was like, we're gonna make the ham and cheese sandwiches. But in the crescent rolls, we're gonna do like a big um, like ham and cheese crescent roll ring. And then we're gonna put our cheese in there. I'm gonna like top it with garlic and ranch seasoning melted butter. We're gonna make our little um, whole grain mustard mayonnaise mixture to dip it in. Like y'all, they're gonna be so good. So first things first, we need two rolls of the sweet Hawaiian crescent rolls. And we're just gonna layer them around um, in a circle and kind of lay them on top so we have like a really good base. And then we'll fill them with all the goodness. And I always get questions about our pizza stone anytime we use it. It is obviously very old and very used and loved. Um, but it is a Pampered Chef pizza stone. Okay, so two rolls was like the perfect amount. So we have our ring put together. And then over here, I just got some um, boar's head ham that we love sliced in the deli. And I got about half a pound and I got it kind of thin, like not shaved, but not sandwich slice. And then we have some baby Swiss we're gonna put on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and shred up some of this Colby Jack. So we'll lay the Swiss down, then our ham, and then we'll top it with some Colby Jack. Okay, so now that everything is in there, you're just gonna take your little tails of your crescent roll and just kind of pull it over and then you can kind of take what's left and tuck it over here to the side. Now to my melted butter, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of ranch seasoning and then a little bit of garlic powder. We will stir that together and then I'm just gonna lightly brush that all the way around the top. Okay, so now into the oven at 375 for probably about 15 to 20 minutes, but once it comes out, I'll tell you the exact time it took. Those sandwiches smell so good, y'all. I cannot wait. They only have about a minute left, so I'm gonna go ahead and make our little condiment that we're gonna dip them in. So we're gonna use a little bit of mayo, stone ground mustard, and I do recommend the stone ground mustard. All those little mustard seeds in there that pop oh my gosh it's my favorite and then just a little splash of Worcestershire and a little more sprinkle of ranch seasoning a little more sprinkle of ranch seasoning okay so we've got some mayo stone ground mustard Ooh, beautiful this is actually I don't even think open that's new oh I love a good fresh brand new stone ground mustard oh me too 
It's doesn't just, that doesn't that just get it's just you excited? beautiful. It's just beautiful when it comes out. I mean, that's just the goodness. Is that your belly rumbling? Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's, oh my goodness! <laughs> could you hear that? I wonder if you'll be able to hear that. Yeah. Okay, a little splash of Worcestershire and some ranch. Okay. Give this a little stir. Might need just another dash or two of the whoosh. Bonky, I knew you were gonna say it. You say it every single time. Well, it looks a little it looks a little thick, you know? A little thick. You wanna taste it? Ooh! They look perfect. Oh my goodness, Bonky. Whoa. Anticipation is killing me. <laughs> This might be one of your best lunches ever. It stands a chance to be right up there in the top five. And I'm so interested to see how I like this versus using the King's Hawaiian Rolls. Uh, are, the, are they, um... They're, they're Sweet they're Hawaiian. King's, sweet Hawaiian Crescent Rolls. Yes. I'm liking, I'm liking what we got going on here, boo. <laughs> I'm liking it. Okay, I can't hardly stand to let this thing cool off. I think we gotta let it sit for at least like two more minutes. Oh my goodness, okay. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let me just have where I want to go in. Let's go in over here. And do you want like a small? Oh, no, 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 come on now. You want me to go all the way over here? Yes, please. Trying to give me one little well, I was gonna cut crescent more, roll. I was gonna cut more than one, boo. See, you don't have to, now I gotta cut it again, right? Yeah. It's gonna be so good. We have our little dipping sauce. This is so nice and fancy. This is like ham and cheese delight. Right <laughs> That's what we should call this. This is ham and cheese delight. That is the new name for this, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me get closer to you and see this thing. Let's do a little uh Wow. Y'all. Look at that. There there are no words. Did you dip yours? I haven't dipped it yet. I'm just impressed with how well this like help holds together and all that, you know? Mm -hmm. Friends, this should be called ham and cheese magic. It's ham and cheese delights, boo. I know, Bunky, but this is like magnificently, delightfully, incredibly tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think this is better? I almost than the rolls. I almost like it better because that crescent roll is like so flaky and That's just like melts true. in your mouth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I like it. I love it. Get a little pickle here, refresh the palate. <laughs> this is so good. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, finish eating, and then. We will get started on our second recipe. Okay, so before we jump into this second recipe, I do want to take a quick minute and thank Ruggable for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, I am in love with my new rug. The colors in there match our chairs in the sunroom so perfect. It looks amazing. And I'm so thankful that my Ruggable is washable because I already spilled my coffee on there. So let me show you how easy this assembly is because it has like the non-slip grip pad that you lay down and then you literally can just place your rug on top. It pulls up so easily to wash, thank goodness. So let me show it to you. It is so beautiful and tell you a little bit more about Ruggable. So I have the Cameron Ivory Opal rug in the six by nine and y'all, it is seriously stunning. It is such a beautiful rug and something that I love about Ruggable is that all of their rug covers are interchangeable. They are super easy to swap out whenever you want and they don't slip. They stay very secure right in place because you have that non-slip rug pad which is awesome and that rug pad is actually made from 95% recyclable material. I was so upset whenever I spilled my coffee but thank goodness my rug cover is machine washable. It's spill and stain resistant and it's safe for babies, your pets, even your clumsy husbands or 
you if you're clumsy like I am. And what I love about it is that it is so lightweight. Y'all pulling this thing up was a breeze. I could easily just put it in the washing machine and then the dryer. It comes out just perfect. No coffee stain. All is well. So that's the tea or coffee I should say on why Ruggable is everyone's favorite rug. So be sure you head down to my description box, click that link and use my promo code to save 10% off your purchase with Ruggable. Okay, so now let's get started on this next recipe. So of course you will need some crescent rolls, some pecans. You don't have to put these in there, but I think the crunch will be really nice. You'll also need just a little bit of brown sugar and some apple pie spice. You will also need a Granny Smith apple. And then one more ingredient that is also optional is some caramel drizzle. This one is a salted caramel, which oh my gosh, it's so good. I think I'm gonna drizzle this on top once they come out of the oven, but these are going to be super simple to make a great little breakfast or dessert. They're going to be so delicious. So to get started on our little apple pie bites, I just have some melted butter right here and I'm gonna toss my sliced apples into the melted butter and just kind of stir those around until they're nice and coated. And then next I'm gonna take my brown sugar and I'm gonna add a little bit of my apple spice to this and give it a good stir. Okay, so now I'm taking my brown sugar and apple pie spice mixture, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this right on top of each one. Then we're gonna take our chopped pecans and just sprinkle a few of those on as well. Okay, so once you have them wrapped up, you're gonna take your leftover melted butter, you're gonna brush this on the top, and then we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit more of that apple pie spice. Okay, into the oven at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, and for the best part, this caramel drizzle, oh my gosh, these are going to be amazing. And I even have some cookie dough ice cream, because why not? I mean, that looks like a dessert I wanna eat. I know you wanna bite of that, like right now. <laughs> Hand it on over, babe, hand it on over. <sighs> I'm gonna let you wow. get a bite first. But then I want to bite. I can feel the warmth under in my on my hand under the plate. Here. Yes, handheld little baked apple pie bites. Yeah. Oh well, I'm liking the texture so far. Uh huh. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna get into the center here. Okay, and then take a little bite with some ice cream. Yeah. We didn't have any vanilla, so I felt like the chocolate chip cookie dough would I be did. just I, fun. I ate all of the vanilla ice cream I yesterday, actually. I figured. This probably won't hurt anything, though. Mm mm. Little that. No. Yep. It's this delicious. Is good. Yay! This is good. And y'all, these are so simple to make. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen. It's actually the next day. Bunky and I are having another amazing lunch. If you hear Daisy May, she's over here begging for some chicken and some cheese. But we are gonna make the easiest, most yummiest little chicken enchiladas using our crescent rolls. We ended up having um, frozen chicken nuggets and french fries for dinner last night. We were trying to clean our house and do all this stuff and so we ended up not having time to cook. But our little makeshift Chick-fil-A was good. Air, the air fryer came air, to the rescue. Yeah. It was actually a really good dinner. It was a very good dinner, wasn't it? Yeah. 
I loved it. Yes, so, but we're gonna have a really yummy lunch. So let me show you how we're going to assemble these. So I already have all of my chicken cut up and I just used a rotisserie chicken to make it even more simple. And then I have some shredded sharp cheddar cheese here. And I have a little bit of this Colby Jack that we used yesterday. So I'll just kind of combine the two. You're gonna need one can of crescent rolls a little bit of enchilada sauce, and then I'm also gonna add some little green chili sours. You don't have to use these, but I think it'll give like a little bit of extra flavor in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken in our bowl, top it with our cheese, enchilada sauce, and chilies, and then give that a good stir. Okay, so you've got this all mixed together and you do wanna save just a little bit of your enchilada sauce because we're gonna to top it with that after it comes out of the oven. Now, we're gonna take our crescent rolls and we are going to make four rectangles out of them. So you'll lay them out, half it, and then half each half again. Perforations are so helpful. So yeah. helpful. And then you're just gonna take this so then we'll just kind of pinch these little seams together. Okay, now to each of our little rectangles, we're just gonna add as much filling as you can get in there without stuffing it too full because we're going to roll them up just like enchiladas. Now, which way are you rolling these things? I don't know, what should I do? Well, I don't think it's gonna roll up the way you, oh my heavens. Is this too much? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Let's try. But which way do you roll it? Oh, I so kind of stretch it a little. Uh, Smush. You see? Oh uh, yeah. This is gonna be just fine. And then stretch it a little. And seal the deal. Seal the deal. See, it's gonna be just fine. Perfect. Now, put this in our baking dish and do the other three. I was gonna say too, you could also put like all olive, black olives in here if you wanted to, or even um, like some rotel if you drained it. You can kind of add in here whatever you like. Y'all know mm -hmm. I'm like kid-friendly recipes over here. Yeah. I'll, I was actually thinking in like in just using a can of Rattel instead of yes. like green chilies because that's got you a little tomato, like all the all the good flavor in there. I almost used a can of um, Rattel, but then I realized we had this green chili, so I was like, might as well use those. Um, but you can kind of add whatever you like in your chicken enchiladas into the mixture. I wasn't thinking that these were gonna. Uh... You're doubting me. I yeah. You always are doubting me, B. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I always prove you wrong. Like the way that these come out of the oven, prove me wrong. Wow, you, you've really gotten the hang of this now. Oh yeah. I've lost my job as the uh, crescent roll person. Okay, last one. You know, I twisted the pumpkin. Oh yeah, you did. You I, did so good almost. I did the pumpkin twisting. And I'm stuffing these things like pretty full. We're gonna take this, pop it in the oven at 375 for like 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take them out, sprinkle some cheese, put them back in there for a couple minutes, take them out, and then just drizzle some more enchilada sauce. And then put them back in? No, that's it. Or are you gonna put them back in? I think I'm gonna put them back in just to like kind of- for a minute. It's gotta warm up, kind of, you know. Yeah. Do its thing in there. This is like a very easy dinner recipe. Like if you have a night where you're really busy and you need to get dinner on the table quick, this is so simple, especially using the rotisserie chicken. Prep, the prep time is minimal. Yes. Okay, what you thinking? It looks yummy, doesn't it? Those look very yummy. They look so good. Yeah. And I left them in just a few extra minutes mm -hmm. to make sure they were very well done for you. I can tell, I'm really liking this. Uh, Your little crust? Yeah, that's looking good there. Yes, okay, I cannot wait any Got longer. Got a little green chili poking out over here. Yes. 
I honestly can't wait for the sour cream. Yeah, let's try it without the sour cream. I just want a little bite real fast. Let's try it without sour cream first to start. Mmm. What do you say, boo? That is good. For real? Like, you don't, so you don't get regular enchiladas when we go out to eat. No, much never. So, is this gonna... This is very good. There's a little bit of heat in there. It'll surprise you. That green chili? It's a green chili. I think that that, that green chili. enchilada sauce is like a little bit spicy too. Mm. Yes. Yeah. A little dip. That is really good. It's delicious. I'm kind of shocked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind <laughs> of shocked. I was very suspect of the crescent roll giving me what I needed as far as that. But it's almost like it's it's more, you know what it kind of reminds me of? What? Chimichanga. Oh, yes, yes, Those I can are see like, that. You know, the good old deep fried and. Yes. Mm. But this yeah, is I thought, delish. I gotta tell you. I gotta okay, tell, tell you. me, tell are me. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. This is a special performance. Okay. <laughs> okay. She has no idea what I'm about to do. I have no clue. <laughs> All right. I thought of this <clears throat> a little bit ago. All right, here goes. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. If you like enchiladas <laughs> and eating cheese every day, <laughs> if you like having a good time, <laughs> wait, wait, what is that? oh no, no, how about if you like hanging with the bunkies, <laughs> then just push play. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. You came was, up with this? Yeah, I did actually, yeah. I'm a little, my face is probably super red. Your face but, is beet red. Yeah. So. Buddy, this was beautiful. I actually have like, you know how when you like get real <laughs> nervous, you kind of lose feeling in your legs. <laughs> that, that has even happened. <laughs> but I just wanted everybody out there to enjoy that. Uh, we enjoyed it so much. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, so. Oh, Sorry. that is so funny. I'm not known for my singing, but uh. <laughs> I cannot stop loving, I'm crying over yeah. here. I mean, you know, if you can't make fun of yourself and embarrass yourself, then what are you doing in This life? is true. Right? Oh man, that is hilarious. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. I was sitting there and like, I was thinking like, you know, the, the pina coladas, I'm like, oh, enchiladas. <laughs> I don't know how you come up with this stuff, but that uh, little head of yours yeah. is good. Yeah, there's. There's some uh, there's some mice up there turning the wheels. <laughs> this is actually really good. It's delish. I almost think it's better than when we made these at home, like using tortillas. I agree. It's it's really it's really good. I would personally, I think doing the rotel thing that we mentioned would probably be really good too because it'll give you some tomato and stuff in there as well. Yes. Maybe is there onion in rotel? I'm gonna just finish eating that. <laughs> but um, the green chilies, though, were really good as well. Yes. I literally cannot believe you just busted out in song. Like, I am yeah. dead right now. Okay, I'm gonna go have some lunch with this singing, handsome man over here. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to check out Rockable down below in my description box. If you're new, we'd love for you to join our family and y'all give this one a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.